This is the $500 setup I built from scratch. I've spent weeks hunting for the best affordable upgrades and packed them all into one video. No overpriced tech, just high quality gear at low prices to show you that you don't need to waste cash. The Motospeed CK61 is my current keyboard. It's one of my favorite budget finds. It is a 60% mechanical keyboard and it saves a lot of space. It also has RGB lightning with multiple setups so you can change it to customize with your mood or your setup. It has red switches. If you're not familiar with mechanical keyboards, red switches are easy to press. So if I rest my finger on the top of a, a key, it will probably count as a key pressed. Considering its size, I'd rate it in 8 out of 10 for productivity because it's a bit difficult to write symbols like quotation marks on it. Second one is the Logitech G305. I actually did a full reveal of it in a previous video so if you want to know all the details just go and check that out but for now what can I say it is responsive light wave and the battery life is amazing. A negative point is that it uses a battery and if you don't buy a rechargeable one you need to replace it every time it runs out of power. On the other hand if you use a decent battery it can last up to 9 months. Summarizing all I'd rate it a 9 out of 10 in the productivity category. We got right here this Havit headphone. It's a pretty good headphone. It comes with a leather cushions but I changed it to this one I don't know what type of t-shirt this is but it's pretty comfortable and also I can wash it and with the leather you can up because it starts to peel off after some time it has a good sound isolation so when I am using it to edit or listen to music I can focus it also comes with this nozzle. it has this volume adjust and also you can mute it from here because it comes with a microphone and I'm not using the microphone because I'm rocking a Fifi microphone. It is the Fifi K669. I've been using this microphone for a while. It is a good microphone, especially considering its price. And also with it, I use this microphone arm from Arcano, also pretty good. It helps a lot, making it easier to handle the microphone in the setup. Moving to the PCs now, I got two laptops. Let me show you. I got this first one it is a Dell Latitude. It's the laptop from the company where I work for. And it is 16 gigabytes RAM and also has this Intel Core i5. And the second one is a Nitro 5, Acer Nitro 5. It has a GTX 1050, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes SSD, and one terabyte of HD. It's my personal PC where I do everything like video editing, coding, photo editing. What really makes my monitor stand out is this ALG mechanical arm. If you never used a mechanical arm before, it's game changer. This thing gives me so much flexibility. I can just hide, tilt, and even rotate to portrait mode if I want to. It's especially great for saving desk space. I end up having all this space. Look at this. If it was a, a stand monitor, it will probably occupy like all this space right here. But no, I have all this free space right here. I can have my keyboard, my mouse and mouse pad, everything way more clean if you're interested in any of those items i showed in the video the links in the description you'll be supporting this channel with no extra cost to you so don't forget to like subscribe if you're into this type of content and i'll see you in the next one